What's going on guys, it's Fleam, and today I am back giving Be The Zombie a another go. As you can actually see, I did manage to get a game, but I didn't record it because in all honesty, it, it was very, very underwhelming. The The Hunter seems very underpowered, and this was just on a 1v1 against some guy. Um, literally it seemed like all he was doing was using his survivor sense, he was spamming his Q button, which if you don't know actually sort of shows you surrounding loot and whatnot, as well as the the hunter. So you know, he was able to know where I was at any given moment. So if I was jumping in the air and, you know, making my way to pounce on him, he, he could just UV me, which would stop me from pouncing. Which was rather disappointing, I have to admit, I was not that happy about that. And if, if I'm honest, I wasn't having fun. Um, you'd think I'd be glad that I got into a match, and it it just, it was horrible. The, the humans seemed to be able to kill you really quick, no matter you know, high sticky or whatever you're being, because, as I said, they, they know exactly where you are, they could just spam Q. The grind stomp or grind pound thing is pretty useless as well. You use it and they do they do move back a little bit, but they're still able to use your their UV light on you as well. So it's a bit counterintuitive there. Um, but I did reach level 2. I don't know if I get anything for it. I might have something in... Uh, actually in the lobby to see if I could do that, just like checking your skills as a human. So I'm going to hop into the lobby to see that and then I'm going to try and hop into another match. Okay, here we are, we're in the lobby. Now, if I remember right, you is to bring up the skills menu as uh, the campaign. So we'll give it, uh, there we, yep, there we go. So, skills. Uh, multiplayer title runner. Titles are earned by invading other players' games. Cool. Hoarder spit is the first one we can get. Press G to shoot at... to shoot a spit that summons fast-moving suicider zombies to hunt down any tagged humans. Tip. Suiciders cannot climb. Points affected humans as they flee for the rooftops. Alright, so... I went up one level, so therefore I got one skill point. So that's pretty nice. Let's see, how many is there? So we've got the main one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-one, thirty-two, 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 twenty. So there's twenty skill points. Not sure how high level you can get, but we'll purchase this anyway. And we'll give it a go. There we have it there. So G, I believe. It's to spit. Now, it will be quite interesting to see how much this spit will actually impact the gameplay um, against the humans, because right now, I have to say, it it's very underwhelming. I have to admit, I did rage quite a bit whenever I was just getting hammered and slaughtered by this one guy. They, he was able to two-hit me with a melee weapon. So, you kind of have to make a points count, but you can't make the points count because if they're looking straight at you, they could just use their UV light and it stops your points. So it's kind of... Uh... But anyway, we'll, we'll use our spit here and see. Let's see if there, is there any drop. There is sort of a drop. But there we go, that's him spat on. Oh, there they are. Wow! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Holy shit. Alright. I wasn't actually paying attention there. I didn't see if um, there was a cooldown. Let's see. Alright, probably no cooldown in the uh, in the lobby here. But, anyway. I'm going to probably sit here for about an hour clicking quick join and find game and all sorts to try and get into a match. Things I do for you guys. So, I shall be back in a second, hopefully. It looks like we've managed to get one. Oh, yeah. Someone joined. 
and then he left the session, which I think's rather silly. I mean, do people not know you can make your session private or whatever? Alright. There he is there. That is a restricted area. Okay. So I hit him with my spit. But they can't climb. Now he's decided to run back into his UV fortress. So that's a problem. Chances are he will um, will be spamming his Q key. Ouch. So they're both over here now. So this isn't as bad, I don't think. Oh, what's that? What's going on there with the lighting? That wasn't too bad. There he is again. Don't we afford him? Again. He seems to have forgot about his UV light. Oh, wrong button. Oh, oh no! Run! Run! I'm not used to the grappling thing! Ah. There it is there. Alright, so we've got our spit back, which is nice. Now if they start wailing on that, I'm going to spit on them. I'm going to spit on them good. Alright, here we go. There we go. Oh, that was close. I was playing the close. I actually thought he killed me there, but he didn't. But they are. Definitely working together. We're trying to at least to work together. Uh, I'm guessing that's underneath. Yes, we're gonna. We're gonna. No, we're not. Ah! Wow. He just came from nowhere. It's ridiculous that range. That range is insane. Oh yes, the horde killed him as well. Awesome. I worked out pretty well. Pretty well. Alright, so it's it's starting to get a bit more fun. A bit more fun. I don't know it it might be because Oh, whoa. What happened to him? He just died. It might be because I don't know, I'm not sure why it's 
a bit more fun. Maybe because these guys aren't constantly keep spamming or I'm not sure. Oh, they destroyed a nest. Oh, almost got him. So, yeah, as you've seen, their UV light does interrupt your points quite a bit. But that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. They are starting to pick it up now. I think they're getting used to everything. So let's see how far away we are. Quite far, actually. Very far indeed, and they have destroyed a nest already. I don't think they can swim that fast, hopefully. Uh, Goix guy seems to know what he's doing. So we pick, we'll pick on Jeffrey. We'll pick on Jeffrey. <laughs> oh. All right. So I, I would like a little like respawn timer or something. I'm sort of thinking, oh, why am I not spawning? All right. I need to kill both of them to win. And they just need to uh, take out two of my, um, my nests. One of my nests, actually, so. Yeah, see, he's just Q spamming. Yeah, just absolutely key spamming the crap out of it. So it looks like Jeffrey got killed by the, the zombies there, so that's nice. Oh dear. how he got killed but he died I think it was all the other zombies around there but that was quite quite fun I have to admit it was a decent little match um, I'm not sure how they match you up against uh, other other players in the quick match because I was only level 2 there and it looks like I was getting matched up against people that had god knows how many skill points in each of the trees quite quick here before I actually end the video I did indeed get another skill point 
and I don't know which one to pick. Um, we've got Horde Summoner Spit times two, but I don't want that. Uh, we've got UV Suppressor Spit, which might be nice. So that shoots a spit that disables UV flashlights and flares that's right in the area when it explodes. Um, then we have UV Block. Uh, press V to temporarily, temporarily, temporarily make you immune to all UV light. So that's more of an escape uh, ability, I think. Ground pound movement unlocks the ability to move while charging or ground pound hold left mouse button until fully charged. So that might be where I'm going wrong with ground pound. I'm not fully charging it, I guess. But. At the moment, I've seen no sort of cue to tell you when it's fully charged or anything like that. But anyway, tackle, hold, shift to sprint and press E to, not, to perform a tackle move that will knock down a single opponent. Tip, wait for the prompt when sprinting towards... Da, 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 da. So, judging from the little preview there, it looks pretty nice. Being able to knock them that far, can even knock them into spikes, that would be pretty nice with that. Oh. Leapfrog, press Q while pouncing to move directly from one victim to another. Leapfrogging off your victim may allow him to be revived by an ally. Ah, I see. Um, speed, increase the speed and jump height of the hunter. So, I'm quite swayed towards UV block. There's a lot of, um, a lot of Q spamming, I've noticed and immediate UV lights in your direction. So that might be nice. But then again, I don't know the cool line of it. Uh, UV suppressor spit, it could be good. Um, could, uh, could use that to spit on them if they're trying to attack a nest. It means they won't be able to use UV lights. Ah, decisions! Um, we will we'll we'll try the UV block. We'll give that a go. We'll go back. Um hold V UV block. Oh uh, I suppose the uh, the cooldowns decreased while in the lobby, which is a bit annoying. But it lasts a se it seems to last a second. Second or two, maybe second and a half, but that that should be nice. But anyway, that's the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time.